Peep, did you know that the name of my vlog this time is a whack on the head? Yes, I did. <laughs> would you like to say anything about that? No. <laughs> yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Come on. No, I wouldn't. Tell them what you said inside. <laughs> <laughs> what you weren't going to do. No. <laughs> give you a whack on the head. <laughs> poker peeps welcome to the vlog have you guys ever felt like the mole in the whack-a-mole game that's what I felt like this week <laughs> at least some of the time of course I also felt like the hammer sometimes so let's talk about that so throughout this video I'm gonna tell you about different types of wax on the head so let's let Vicki and I explain the first whack on the head Hey, it's Mrs. Peep. <laughs> Hi. So, Vicki, tell the people what we have been doing and mostly me have been doing the last couple of weeks around our house. Lots of tree trimming, fixing mm. the trees. And cutting down big limbs big and little limbs, limbs and all sorts branches. of limbs. All yes. that stuff. Yes. So wouldn't you agree that sometimes I can be a little obsessive compulsive? Yes. <laughs> so if I start to doing stuff, then that's all I will do. And I concentrate on that and that's, I get a little obsessive. So I'm trimming the trees in the middle of the night. I'm trimming the trees in the morning. <laughs> I'm trimming the trees when Vicky is gone. That's bad. You think it's bad? That's bad. <laughs> Vicky used to be nervous when I would watch the children when they were little. <laughs> And I'm nervous when you trim the trees when I'm gone. So I was trimming the trees when Vicky was gone this week, and <laughs> there was an incident. Bottom line is I pulled a big old tree limb down right on my head, and I was bleeding all over. <laughs> so I told Vicky I had the euphemism of the day. I told her I got red highlights put in my hair. <laughs> so tell them about it. He had a big old spot on his head. It was bleeding all over in the shape of a P. <laughs> For poker, maybe. I told him he might have to get stitches. It looked like it might be gaping. I am not getting stitches. In fact, I went, while well, she was gone, I cut my head open, there's blood all over my hands. I went and put my head under the sink and washed the blood out and came back and started working on the trees again. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, peep. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, Windstar 1-3, second orbit. Uh, I'm in the hijack with King of Hearts, Queen of Hearts. I hadn't played very many hands. I have $280. There's a limper. I make it 13 and the limper calls. So the flop with $30 in the pot comes, Jack of Spades, Eight of Spades, Three of Hearts, and he donks into me for 15. So a lot of times a donk bet is not a terribly strong hand. Uh, and I like to sometimes be aggressive early on because a lot of times you get credit when you're early on in a session and people don't know you yet. So I raise it up to 45 even though I have absolutely nothing. He tanks and calls. The turn now, 120 in the pot, is the Ace of Diamonds, and he leads all in <laughs> $195 obviously my uh, little play there didn't work so good and I folded and a little start with a whack on the head so the very very next hand I'm in middle position two with queen of diamonds ten of diamonds I have $222 and I raise it up to 13 the cutoff and the button both call the flop, 43 in the pot comes ace of diamonds king of spades jack of hearts that would be Bingo bongo baby. I lead out for 15. The next guy folds. Then there's a female Asian uh, regular there. She's very, very good. She plays very, very tight. She raises it up to 80. So I know she's got a very, very strong hand. So I decide to go ahead and shove it all in right here for 209. She makes the call. She had pocket kings for a set of kings. Board ran out. Six of clubs, queen of spades. So my straight wins. And I gave out a whack on the head. The second whack on the head was not really physical. It was more 
the mental whack on the head and that was I told you guys I was gonna go to run it up Reno it's the most fun tournament ever uh, it's laid back lots of vloggers go there so I decided not to go though I didn't feel quite right about being gone all weekend and stuff like that and then I watched all the live streams and I watched all the vloggers all the big ones they're together they're playing in cash games together they're having a drink at the bar and I could have been right along with them oh, mentally just a whack on the head I wish I'd have gone now I then didn't play a significant hand for about an hour uh, and then when I was on the button $450 I had King of Clubs Queen of Clubs uh, there was four limpers to me I made it 15 the hijack and the cutoff call Anyhow, the cutoff is right next to me, obviously. His name is Gautam. He's from India, younger guy. Uh, it concerned me when he called because he had been playing relatively tight. <laughs> so the flop with 55 in the pot comes six of diamonds, six of hearts, seven of diamonds. First guy checks. Gautam now donks into me for 15. Hmm. Again, a donk bet normally means that they're not terribly strong. Uh, so maybe eight, nine, four, five, a seven, uh, diamonds. Uh, anyhow, I decided I'd go ahead and just make the call. Another guy folded. Uh, the turn now with 85 in the pot comes nine of clubs. Uh, it goes check, check. The river, 85 in the pot comes queen of diamonds. He donks into me for 25. Oh my gosh, this just looks so much. I even said to him, oh my gosh, this looks so much like diamonds. Uh, but how do I fold for a $25 bet? <laughs> so I make the call. He does have ace jack of diamonds. Uh, I read it all over. <laughs> the queen there's just a horrible card for me i suppose i was ahead of seven ace or i don't know pocket tens i don't know of course he would have bet that on the turn so anyhow i knew it was a flush i still had to call the bet was too small Gotham gave me a whack on the head all right there's a guy that comes to our table you've all seen this kind of guy he's kind of brash kind of flashy kind of splashy he wants to raise every hand tell everybody he's the table captain well he came to our table so the first orbit he raised pretty much every hand he did build a stack from like he only bought in for like 120 uh, He had already built it up to like $400 in maybe an orbit or an orbit and a half and he wasn't showing down any hands All he was ever doing was making a big bet on the uh, Flop or turn or river and everybody's folded this guy and I know he's full of bean dip so I'm on the button with King of Clubs, Queen of Clubs. I have $600. I'm into the game for $300, so I'm doing well. Uh, there's two limpers to me, including our little friend, including our friend Splashy Flashy. I make it 15, and only he in the hijack calls. The flop with 37 in the pot comes Jack of Diamonds, 10 of Diamonds, 4 of Spades. He checks to me. I make it 15, and he makes the call. The turn, 67 in the pot, comes another 10, the 10 of Hearts and he donks into me for 25. This doesn't mean anything to me. He loves it when scare cards come and he can bet, but a $25 bet is not getting me out. I make the call. The river, 117 in the pot, is the six of spades. He leads out for 50. I have absolutely nothing, but you know what? I think I got enough to beat him, maybe. So I tank and I tank and I tank, and I make the call, and he has 10-8 for trips 10s. Ouch. He got up to an actually a pretty darn good stack, but he busted about 90 minutes later, and the guys at the table were talking, at least the decent ones, saying he never had anything. I wish I'd have gotten a hand against him. I said, I think the only hand that he actually had a hand one was the one where he had the 10s against my king queen. That's a whack on the head, people. So don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love daily fantasy football. DraftKings or Draft or, or FanDuel and all that kind of stuff. I've done it for about three or four years now. I have actually done very, very well. First two years I did great. Last year didn't do so great. This year I'm doing well. I'm up. I've won every single week except for one. This week though, Matt Ryan, you killed me, man. And I ended up losing in fantasy football this week. Another whack to the head. Ugh. Next week, we're going to get him. One of these weeks, we're going to win the million dollars. Okay, the last significant hand I played, I was on the button with $300. Uh, I had Ace of Hearts, King of Clubs, the small blind right next to me to my left had $285. A relatively tight, um, it looked like he was a 
unsure player, uh, but he had been losing. He had like $450, he's down to 285. Anyhow, there's three limpers to me. I made it 18, uh, the small blind and the big blind, and two of the limpers called. So pretty big pot pre. On the flop, $93 in the pot. It comes eights of clubs, two of clubs, seven of hearts. I have top pair, top kicker. Uh, it checks to me, I make it 40, and this player in the small blind makes the call. The turn now, with 173 in the pot, is the three of diamonds. He checks, I make it 65, and he makes the call. This is a little bit concerning to me, of course, because he hadn't played very many hands. Uh, I only have one pair, but he also has lots of missed draws at this time so far. The river with 303 in the pot is the four of spades and he snap shoves all in for 162. A lot of times to me, a snap shove is a miss. So I thought for a second, I made the call and he had jack of clubs, nine of clubs for a missed flush. And I took that one down. Nice hero call by me, buddy. There's buddy. Maybe buddy needs a little whack on the head a few times. <laughs> Hi buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna continue my training with my buddy Rob. We're learning a lot. We're going over lots of great stuff. We're gonna to get to be really, really good tournament players. Not that we're not already pretty decent. We're gonna get better. And we can put this into practice when the WSOP circuit comes to Choctaw in early November. That's my next big set of tournaments. Really, really looking forward to it in the next few weeks. Uh, if you see me up there, make sure you say hi. And uh, maybe we're going to come back with a big stack of cash. So that's going to do it for this vlog. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and subscribing and all that kind of stuff. My advice for you this week is don't take any wax on the head. Make sure you give them out. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you again. I appreciate everything that you do. I appreciate you watching, as I said. And you guys have a fantastic, wonderful, and blessed week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.